Hello, YouTubesters, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander for the SNES with me, Blue Ankylo. So last episode, we flew with Iceman again, who was resurrected, and he sh proved himself quite useful against that Rolari. I think he helped out a lot. Um, we had uh, another run-in with our nemesis, the Southie, who continued to give us trouble no matter what ship we fly. Uh, and I did look at the scores last time, so nothing new here. Uh, we're definitely in the lead by a large, large margin. And we're actually catching up in sorties with Maniac, finally, so that's kind of fun. So let's have our little chit-chat. Have a seat, Blue. This place is getting empty these days. I hear you've been flying the Raptor, again. She's a good ship, fast but a bit clumsy. At this point, we've flown every ship, so sure. It's an aggressive ship, if you're an aggressive pilot. Well, I guess it's aggressive. Grrr, I'm a an aggressive ship. <laughs> I'd bet you could stand off a Gratha or two. Maybe only two. <laughs> Thanks for the confidence, old, old shot glass. <laughs> oh well, you've probably got a better feel for the ship than I. Y yeah. <laughs> Pay no mind to this old Hespinot. Don't get yourself down, shot glass. You're all right, but definitely one or two Gratha we could handle. <laughs> okay, spirit. Greetings, Blue Song. Have you heard what happened to Lieutenant Marshall on his last mission? Um, he mentioned something about a, a Draymond, I think. It is remarkable the young lieutenant has not yet destroyed the Tiger's Claw. <laughs> oh, maniac. He was pursuing a Drelthi as it rushed towards one of our transports. He locked a heat-seeking missile on its exhaust and launched. But at the last minute, the Drathi looked back towards him. The missile lost its lock on the enemy and acquired the transport as its target. The transport's engines were severely damaged and the ship was soon destroyed. Yeah, we heard this before. It is vital to consider what is beyond his target before firing. As the lieutenant's unfortunate example demonstrates. Well, uh, you, yeah, you kind of could blame the manufacturers of the heat seeking missile. It shouldn't lose its target. <laughs> but okay. Maniac, I guess he messed up. Bonsoir, mon ami. I have heard that the Kilrathi are sending in their best pilots. Well, <laughs> it is my goal to encounter one of their aces and shoot him down. Well, we've killed most of them already. We even killed Dakath twice now. But I have not had the chance to engage one yet. Well, that's because I killed them all. If you are so lucky, you will try to destroy him at all costs, no? Well, I guess there's maybe only one left, that's why. <laughs> that is the best way to ensure our victory. I'm sure it will help. No problem, Angel. Uh, let see. Yep, nothing new. Uh, what are we at? Three bronze, three silver, two gold or something, I think? Unless I've forgotten by now. No way to really keep track unless you write them down or something. Mission briefing, Rostov system, 1430. Let's go, people. There's no time to waste. About an hour ago, Tactical got a fix on a large bogey jumping into the system. We don't know what she is, but she's big. Very big. We need a visual on her, so Tactical can decide what to do about her. Blue, you and Iceman are going to take a look. Find out what you can, but make sure you get back with a f report. And watch your back. The Kilrathi wouldn't send her in alone. Understood, sir. Good. Now let's go over the scenario. We have a fix that puts her... I see a lot of asteroids near Nav 2. <laughs> you can proceed through Nav 1, avoiding the asteroids. Yes, that sounds good. Or you can pick your way straight through the rocks. No, that sounds bad. Tactical says neither route is significantly better, other than avoiding a ton of floating rocks. Do you have any questions, Blue? No, sir. Good. Let's get out there then. Squadron dismissed. Yeah. As you can tell, tactically, there is a better route as far as I'm concerned. Not crashing into asteroids is good. I'm also doing my little dodge here just so I don't accidentally hit a rock or something, but I think we're okay. So, nav 1, see the computer knows where I want to go. Oh, wait, 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 what's this? What's going on? Um, I think we'll be okay, it should only take a second. Switch to full guns. So we're flying with Iceman again. Uh, whoa, that was probably closer than I needed to be. Um, there we are, good. 
So uh, we'll see how he does this episode. Um, and we're going to meet a new ship. So that's exciting. What could the Kilrathi have in store for us? On to Nav 2. Yeah, that was much quicker. Boom, boom. Uh, righty here, what do we get? Whoa, another asteroid! I thought we dodged all the asteroids! Ah! Ah! Okay, folks, sorry about that. Um, apparently we have to fly through some asteroids anyway. They neglected to mention that Nav 1 still had asteroids yet to fly through. Uh, I guess there was ooh, a little bit of a field near Nav 2 on the map, but... You know, we weren't anywhere near that asteroid field. That's lame. Alright, free again. Sorry about that. More asteroids. I mentioned I hate the Rostov system. But with a little bit of luck, this will be our last mission in the then we can move on to an even more difficult system. Alright, so... Kaja! Ah! He may even be the last ace. I don't think we killed him yet. Oh no, Backtosh! Well, oh yeah, that's probably the bob, the bug, right? They, uh... Mention uh, a different name when they talk on screen than what it says on the... Um, on the, on the targeting display. Ah. I didn't want to waste too many missiles on him because there might be something ahead that we need to shoot. But come on. Come here, you Kaja the Fang, I believe is his actual name. Even though he keeps saying it's Backtosh, but we killed him already. Oh, he's going down. Come on. He's talking so much I can't even see his uh, ship's damage. There it is. It's all red. Ha ha ha! And that should be the last Kilrathi ace. Oh, wasted another missile. Oops, didn't need to do that. But I think we got three left. We should be okay. Although, this new ship... Uh, whoa, missiles! Missed me, though. I guess I should send Iceman in. I kind of forgot. Didn't have time to send them off again. Sometimes the game doesn't really give you enough time. Whoa, something just jumped in. What is that? Okay, Iceman, please don't shoot me while I'm flying here. No, no, don't. Not right now. Just, just wait. Okay. Little Krantz, they don't have... They only have like two guns on the front. The Gratha have four and the Jelty have six, so they're not... You can take a couple shots without worrying too much. Okay, I'm not even moving. He's just, just flying around me, ramming into me. Uh, ramming speed. Come on, Cranty. Ah, good. Alright. So there's one left. And a Frothy. What's a Frothy? That's a Frothy. Um, I better... I don't want... Iceman to attack the Frothy though. Oops. Shoot. No, no, no. I'm probably doing this totally wrong. Iceman, attack this one. Ah! And then I do it again. Uh, I've messed it all up now. Come on, crap. Yeah. Alright. Sorry, Iceman. Oops. Did it again. I don't think you're going to get any kills this time, because I don't want to send you off on your own against this. This is another capital ship for the Kilrathi, and it is their largest one, I believe. Considerably stronger than a Rilari. So I'm going to try my old tricks. I've got full armor and shields and guns, and some missiles. Whoa! Ah, not bad, not bad. I took out some armor. Got a little bit close before I ran out of the way. Got my missiles off. Took a bit of damage, but I think we can take it. You know, for this mission, as you can tell with the music, mostly we were supposed to check it out, but come on, we're not chickens. We can take a Frothy out, whatever that is. Um, the Colonel will like it better if we take this out, I think, anyway. But I don't think we have to, technically. Um, and we're doing good. We still got lots of armor. 
long as you let your shields recharge a little bit before you blast in and try not to get hit by all the guns. Yeah! Piece of cake. Good. So now we're on our way back. Uh, if there's asteroids on the way, I will cut them out. So let's see what we get run into here. It could be enemy ships, you never know. We are getting towards the end of the game now, so as we saw in the last episode, they could throw in some surprises. Yep, look at that. Some surprises. Alright, this t Oh, and it's... Grrr, it's an asteroid battle with like four ships. Okay, Iceman, this is... Okay, move out of the way of this asteroid first. This is your chance to shine. Come on and shine. Somebody shot me. And rammed me. Somebody else shot me. Come on, guys. Wow, taking more damage from these so far. Asteroid battles. I hate them. Alright, that's how we do it. Oh, this is not going good. Come on! Guns! Iceman, kill them, please! Um. Okay, holding still tactic is not working. Iceman, nope, not. Just go attack, please. Kill them. They're over there. I can see them. That was horrible. Okay, this time. Seriously. Seriously. Please go kill him. I lost a gun. Well, I'm going to try my old trick here. The one gun. If it comes close. Yep. Kill him, ice man. Yeah. I've taken too much damage. Kill it. I don't think my green ones can hit him from this range. Good job, Iceman. Yeah! One more. Might be running away, though. Let's just cautiously have a look. I suppose standing still in these asteroid fields while battling isn't the best tactic, but... Good. Iceman. Kill it. Uh, I'm not going to be able to avoid that. Ah. Okay, whew! Uh, definitely took some damage. Uh, I gotta figure out a new way to fight in asteroid fields, because this is not working so good. Now, how much more asteroids have we got? Oh, there's tons of asteroids. I probably should have gone back through Nav 1, you know. Alright, so anyway, I will cut the video. I think that's going to be it, other than a whole bunch of asteroids, until we get back to the claw. So, hold on for a minute. And welcome back. We've encountered another small difficulty. Apparently the Tiger's Claw is invisible. Uh, we're going to request a landing and continue flying towards it, but um, it seems to be invisible here. <laughs> Not quite sure what that's all about. Uh, hopefully they're going to let us land with the invisible ship. Ah, oh, look, there it is. All is well. <laughs> Nothing happened on the flight over, of course, just asteroids. Yeah, we were fine until we got to the asteroid field. Oh, that was pretty horrible, I guess. Standing or f holding still and getting shot up by Drowthy. Mission debriefing, 1430 hours. Let's have that report, Major Blue. Yes, sir. We were able to get a close look. She was a frailty class cruiser. About as big as the claw, and easily fla faster. I don't know how you managed it, Blue. Taking out that frailty will certainly shake up the Kilrathi command. You betcha. Let's go over your mission log. Were you able to bag any of the enemy? <laughs> well, maybe one or two. Cat in a bag. <laughs> yes, sir. I got eight of the hairballs. And you, Iceman, how many did you get? I got one, sir. <laughs> sort of looks at me. <laughs> Very well, Blue. Report to my office in one hour. That's all. Dismissed. Hey, I killed Kadra the Fang, too. Aren't you going to mention that? Colonel Halcyon's office, 1650. Blue, come in. I need to speak with you. Again. About those things flying in front of my window. Yes, sir. We'll be leaving Rostov soon, and I need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. 
I want you in one of the new Rapier class mediums in Black Lion Squadron, again. Yes sir, you won't be sorry. Good, I'm glad to hear it. That's all then, Major. Dismissed. And a hangar deck medal award ceremony. Maybe we get some recognition for that frothy kill. Not that it was all that hard. I had more trouble with the asteroid fight again. For meritorious conduct in confronting the Kilrathi enemy in Rostov. A gold star! Oh, thanks, guys. They're rounding out our medal awards. Your courage is exemplary of the Confederation's finest defenders. I think that's three of each now, actually. That's pretty sweet. Good job, Blue. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Filled with pride, you meet the applause of your fellows. Yeah. Story segment. Meanwhile, in the primitive alien villages of the Rostov system, as the Kilrathi fleet flees Rostov before the advancing human warships, a handful of Kilrathi marines are stranded on Rostov's jungle world, where they are captured by the native sentients, the Mopox. Whoa, I wonder what they did to them cats. <laughs> They'd be little pet Kilrathis outside of the native's huts now. <laughs> so, we're on to Venice, which is the last system for Wing Commander. The first one, anyway. Uh, so we're doing good. This is the Victory Branch, which is good to know. Um, so we've, we've pretty much done it. The war is pretty much on our side now. We're, we're going to win it. Um, unless we die or something. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching Let's Play Wing Commander with me. Uh, we're, we're cutting close to wrapping it up, um, but uh, we still got a few missions left and they're not that easy, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and let's see, state staved. I don't want to mess this up again. So thank you and have a great day.